Hello everyone, for today's video I have a full counter themed moveset. This was suggested by the Lieutenant Captain Ruby, so if you guys have any moveset theme suggestions for yourself, please feel free to leave them in the comments, but please do take a quick look at the playlist which will be at the top of the description and in the comments. And of course, please leave a like. So getting into this moveset we've got the Time Skip Backbreaker, Shadow Crusher, Burst Rush, or Godbreaker, and Change the Future as our supers. Mystic Flash and Reverse Mabiku Senko as our two ultimates and any transformation that we want and hyper movement as our evasive. So for my transformation I decided to pick Super Saiyan because it's it's just the best transformation for Saiyans in my opinion and I decided to go for Godbreaker instead of Burst Rush. Now I don't really have too much to say about this moveset, I mean I did do a video a little bit ago which was to an extent a melee version of this because I had stuff like do or die and the backflip which was just something that would really help me counter my opponent after they vanish or whenever I would vanish. So again this is kind of to some degree a super attack version of that. The only problem I had with this moveset really was just trying to remember when to use Change the Future and Godbreaker because one of them only works if your opponent shoots a key super at you and the other one only works if your opponent uses a strike super. So there was a few situations in these fights I think where <laughs> I would use the other one where I'm meant to use the proper one. Like it is a bit funny, but with that being said, let's get into the first fight. Now, if any of you guys do join my room and I kick you, it's more than likely because the connection between us isn't good. That doesn't mean your connection is bad, it just means that the connection between us and the Xenoverse server is just bad. I very rarely fight people who have a three bar connection or under. I just prefer fighting people with four or five bars. I just want to mention that just in case any of you guys do join my lobby and the connection is bad, that's absolutely the reason why. There's no other reason, it's just because of the connection and for some reason in Xenoverse 2 if you have a 2 bar connection it's actually more like a 5 bar connection in Xenoverse 1. It's very weird how it's all worked out but again that's just the reason why. So here he went for a Super Kamehameha but because I had enough key I went for the Reverse Mabuku Senko. He goes for a second Super Kamehameha and I tried to perfect block the first hit because if you perfect block it you then have a second or so. It's more like half a second to move out the way of it. So I did try to perfect block it but I failed and I didn't have enough stamina to use an evasive. So he did break my stamina there. But that, I'm in a kind of a good place now because we kind of have equal health. Well now he's almost been defeated because I went for that very nice Mystic Flash counter. He uses Super Electric Strike here. I go for the Shadow Crusher and let's kind of finish him off. Very fun first fight, kind of short. <laughs> Let's move on to the next. So with this moveset, I mean, okay, I prefer fighting melee and using my super and ultimate attacks as complements to my basic attacks. But I mean, this moveset was fun to use, but I just wonder how truly effective and devastating this moveset can be with someone who is more comfortable using super attacks. So if you guys want to tweet out your results to me on Twitter, you know, if you recorded something or uploaded it, feel free to link me to them and I'll definitely give them a look. So I have a good idea on when this guy is going to vanish. So I'll get him in the basic heavy combo here. I vanish down to him and hit him with the aura burst to send him flying away, then teleport to continue the combo. Not very efficient though, with me but it does look very flashy and very cool so the very second he had two bars of stamina recovered he used a vanish and that was just you know i just knew he was going to do that he goes for super saiyan 3 here and i used change the future i think it was see even watching this back i can't remember which one is which i think you unlock them both from the same parallel quest i'm not too sure but I used the basic energy volley on him here and I tried to enough to finish that guy off. So the first two fights were pretty short, like under a minute. So I wonder if the next few fights will also be this short or if they will be a little longer. I've only just noticed this, but this guy, Sabi Double Zero, and the last guy I fought, they both have Final Flash and Sphere of Destruction, which as I was just watching this, I thought I repeated the clips again by accident. But no, they both have the same ultimates. With Final Flash, I mean it, it feels like it's been sped up a bit in Xenoverse 2 from Xenoverse 1, I'm not too sure, it just feels a bit quicker now. But Sphere of Destruction, oh my god, it's almost as useless as using Super Spirit Bomb online, well in PvP. You're just not going to use it, it's just extremely slow. Again, even if you break your opponent's guard and they're in the recovery position, the recovery animation rather, it probably still won't hit them unless you're just very lucky, so... 
you know, just I would strongly recommend not using that online. In a moment, he's going to vanish and I'll predict it and that will just, you know, he can't defend himself now. With this move set, I mean, okay, it's very aggressive and kind of in your face, but there's no beam attack that could, you know, like really defend yourself with. Unless you use Mystic Flash after you break your opponent's guard or when they have no stamina, send them back, teleport, use Mystic Flash and like you just saw right there, it will trap them in it and it does quite a lot of damage. I mean, so Mystic Flash to an extent now has two uses. You can use it when your opponent vanishes or you can use it when you send your opponent back, they have no stamina, then you vanish and it will just trap them and it does a very nice amount of damage. So now I know for a fact I've won this match. I hit him once there and he has like I'd say less than 1% health. I wanted to finish him off with a counter so when he went for light grenade I used shadow crusher and that's going to be a very nice way to finish off the third fight in this video. Next battle my opponent has giant storm and he times 4 Kaoken Kamehameha as his two ultimates. Two very nice and very strong ultimates and if I get my guard broken here I don't know if I'll be able to use shadow crusher to defend myself because I just don't know if you need stamina for that to be effective. As we exit the clash, I go for Shadow Crusher here, and he goes for the regular KL Ken Kamehameha. Very nice counter, that was the perfect counter for that situation. He just tried to set up his Twin Darkness stars there, and of course it didn't work, so I hit him away. But as we created some distance, he went for it a second time, and I'm thinking here, okay, I don't think he's going to expect me going for the reverse Mebu Senko, so I go for it. It hits him, and he is almost defeated already, so... I do need to be careful because I do believe he is a Saiyan, so that means, of course, he'll get a bit of a Zenkai boost because he has low health. So in a moment, I think he's starting to get a bit desperate. Maybe he knows he's got the Zenkai boost now. So he goes for Giant Storm, and I think I use Change the Future here. Again, I can't remember. Change the Future and God Breaker, at least for me, they're just very similar. So please do forgive me if I say one of them when I meant to say the other one. So, of course, I use that to counter his Giant Storm. Therefore, I can't can come on me off. I used hyper movement, and I do have lost stamina. But I mean, compared to his, like I'm kind of in a good place. I could maybe get a stamina reset here if I really, really wanted to. But I do feel confident in my abilities, so there's just no need to. He goes for Super Vegeta 2 here, and he's going to break my guard in a minute because I'm blocking as he goes for the Holman Dash. Not the best decision I've ever made. Now, given he's got Super Vegeta 2 rather than Super Saiyan, of course it's going to boost his key attacks. And he went for the times four Kaoken Kamehameha there. I think he could have charged it up and that probably would have beat me. But thankfully he didn't. So now I'm thinking, okay, I need to get serious. I turn Super Saiyan 3. He vanishes. I knew he was going to vanish. I used the backbreaker. Thankfully, Super Saiyan 3 was more than enough to pull him away in a few seconds. I will admit, I thought that looked very nice because it's like I'm playing in my base form the entire fight. Then when I get serious, I use Super Saiyan 3. Someone actually did mention this very early on. I think it was my Burkhoff turned Super Saiyan 3 for the first time video. They left a comment saying something like they wanted me to only use Super Saiyan 3 when I got serious. And I do to an extent, but I mean, it's, an, it's a cool transformation. I'm going to use it fairly often. So as you go into the next fight with this guy, he actually changed his preset up. And instead of using the times 4 Kaoken Kamehameha, he now has the times 20 version, which is a strike ultimate. So he did use it, I counted it, he blocked as I went for the back hit and because he had no stamina pretty much that broke his guard and I wish I didn't break it because I mean I have two bars of stamina now, in a moment he's going to have a full bar recharged. I am confident in predicting when he's going to vanish but given how fast the previous fight turned like I do need to be careful. He went for the times 20 Kaoken Kamehameha there and it didn't work thankfully. I'm pretty sure it glitched out and I just dropped out of the combo. Hopefully that will be fixed soon because I have heard a few people complain about that. But I guess that's karma because as I send him flying away, I teleport and went for the Mystic Flash and it doesn't fully hit him. But it did do enough damage so all I would have to do afterwards which is game in a basic combo. I do that and thankfully that's enough to finish that guy off. So okay, with this moveset it is very aggressive if you know how to use it. And I mean, I consider myself competent with it, but I wouldn't say I'm an expert with this particular moveset. But if you do know how to use it, then I think that your opponent, they just won't be able to do anything because you've got something that counters pretty much everything. Mystic Flash can be used when your opponent vanishes. And as I've shown in this video, you can use it as a kind of just a regular beam attack if you teleport behind your opponent when I have no stamina. But because of that, I really do think Mystic Flash just completely overshadows the Backbreaker because granted Backbreaker, you only need one bar of key to use it, but you probably should in my opinion, and everyone is different, they have their own playstyles and play habits. 
you probably should wait until you have enough key to get a guaranteed hit on your opponent when they have lost stamina. For example, if they vanish and you know they're going to vanish and they have like two bars of stamina so they won't be able to escape it, use Mystic Flash because, well, it's just going to hit them and do much more damage. Shadow Crusher can be used from a distance. If your opponent for some reason uses a Beam Ultimate, for example Super Kamehameha, they can just prepare for it, it'll go straight through it. I don't think it takes any stamina to use, like it doesn't tank your stamina, but it's going to really surprise your opponent. Godbreaker, Reverse Mebaku Senko, Change the Future, and even Burst Rush, even though I didn't use it in this video. They can be used to pretty much counter everything that your opponent is going to do, but the key there is just being able to predict it. And finally, Hyper Movement. If your opponent is going to use an ultimate when you have more than three bars of stamina, then they deserve the punishment that Hyper Movement would give. So, there's that. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching the video. I really do hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.